Okay, so here I'm back with our section B of the chemistry GCE 225, uh, which they wrote to science. So the first question I say is, uh, which is B1. There are various challenges caused by chemical industrial activities, all right, of which we know. State one challenge caused by chemical industrial activities. Again, instructions are part of the exam. They're talking about it industrial activities now they don't want you to state the industrial activity they want you to state the challenge which is caused by that industrial activity which you want to state all right so number one they are, they are, they are quite a lot uh they for example you can say uh they cause um air air pollution um okay this one is too yeah that's right yeah land pollution also they contribute to land degradation degradation Suggest a method you would use to minimize the challenge that you've stated so based on the challenge that you've stated how, what suggest a method all right that you, you you would use to minimize that same challenge for example when it comes to land pollution now let's say you are just throwing a uh, litter everywhere plastics and so forth what you do instead of just throwing plastics and containers and everywhere reuse them all right the three arrows reuse uh, or recycle like that so you can recycle, okay? You can recycle, all right? You can also reduce. You can also reuse, okay? Yeah. The products that you are making. The three arrows, you remember them, right? All right, so B says the models labeled A, B, and C are for the three states of matter. The melting and the boiling point of substance E are also shown in the table as follows. So, A, B, C are shown the states. Now, also these states, they have uh, another state, another substance E, whose melting and boiling points are shown. So, let's see the questions. Which model represents the state of substance E at a temperature of pure melting ice? Huh. So, at the temperature of pure melting ice, the temperature of pure melting ice is what we call the melting point of the substance. And the melting point of pure ice, when ice melts, where does it go? It goes to liquid. So, it should be B. Simple as that. A temperature of pure boiling water at sea level. Now, when water is boiling, right? It undergoes evaporation and finally turns into what? Gas. Meaning, C is the correct one. Room temperature and pressure. Well, at room temperature and pressure, we're talking about substance E. Let's go to substance E. Substance E, look at the melting point, is negative 114. And look at the boiling point, is about... It. Uh, 79. So, wh what is this substance? Is it a liquid, a gas, or a solid at this particular? Looking at it, since it has got a very low melting point, all right, it cannot be a solid and it cannot be what? A gas. So, it is a liquid because its boiling point is somewhere there. And it's, it's, uh, it's closest to the boiling point of ethanol, if you, if you know the boiling point of ethanol or alcohol. Closer, meaning this friend of ours, E here, it belongs to state number B, which is a what? A liquid. So it is a liquid at room temperature and pressure. So this is how this question was supposed to be answered. Next time we are going to go to B2.